Hey, what is up nation? In this session, I'm gonna teach you how to cut openings for your windows and doors in SketchUp. All right, so we have SketchUp Pro uh, 2018 open here, and uh, I'm just gonna really quickly make a window um, that's essentially a skylight and we're going to use that as a window or a door uh, we're just going to sort of pretend for that so I just use uh, R to make the rectangle tool and choose the offset tool to offset this hit B for uh, the uh, paint bucket I'm going to paint this middle a glass color a translucent glass gray and then I'm just going to make this a group and then I'm going to right click make it a component we're going to call this uh, glass. Now I'm going to show you a uh, a way to, to that I like to do this um, because it's sort of problematic. Uh, obviously, there are multiple ways that you can do almost anything in any 3D program, uh, but this is sort of what I found uh, is fastest and most effective. So if I click in here, you can see that uh, there's a new axis that is drawn here. Uh, you can obviously always move that axis or not move the axis, move your object in relation to that axis. So uh, this is basically the plane, the cutting plane, um, the shape that you have that is on that axis. So this looks good for me. Uh, and then I just wanna offset this a little bit because I want there to be a little bit of an extrusion um, vertically from outside. And then I want this to also be extruded down. So I want there to be a little bit that sticks above the roof and then I also want to go down. Now um, when I select this uh, or when I go to the component tray or the drop down in the default tray um, I have this thing called glass which is what I had. Uh, if I go to edit you can see that glue to uh, there's some different options here. I'm going to choose any because I want to be able to use this as a door and a skylight so that's what I'm going to select any and then I'm going to also check this little box that says cut opening. So um, that looks good and then when I bring this in and paste it on this um, shape you can see I have that little bit of raise and it's also uh, cutting into that object. I'm not getting any sort of clipping but when I go to the other side because this is uh, larger than um, the shape that I made that depth it is Basically, it's not going all the way through. It's only cutting this face. And one other thing that I just want to point out is that this is not a group. If this was a group and I try to place the glass, it will do that angle, but it won't cut the surface. You can see I, you're getting that sort of, I don't know what you would call that, techno vibe when I rotate around because there's two uh, faces that are um, overlapping there. So uh, what I want to do to sort of resolve that is I want to make a backside as well. Um, or just use the exact same thing and just flip to the other side. Let's say it's symmetrical. Uh, you can make a separate one, uh, but I'm going to show you in this video how to use the, the same object to get on the reverse side. Um, so we're basically going to make two of these instances. Now the trick to this is that once you have this on here, how do you get, well, let me ungroup this. Um, obviously, you, this could be a group, but you just want to be inside the group and then paste your shape. Uh, the trick here is that you need to be able to reference on this side. Like if I put this over here, then how do I know where to put it? Um, it just makes it difficult. So the trick that I do is um, I take this and you want to take your origin and you want to have that, make sure there's some line coming off of that. So I'm just going to draw two lines that come off of that. I'm going to hit M here, control to make a copy, and then select these and go to edit hide. You can also right click, but you can see you get these little dotted lines. Oh, you can't see that. Now you can see that there are these dotted lines. Um, so what happens when I go to uh, the other side and I have that hidden geometry on is I then can paste this so that it's on that plane and then I can just hit M and move this so that it is where that intersection is but again I'm not inside the group and you can see sort of the problem that, that having a group 
uh, brings. So you just want to place it so that's on that plane and then you can quickly move it to where it needs to go. Um, there's a little bit of overlapping in there because the geometry isn't uh, exactly where it should be or where I would like it to be. Um, and you could uh, just sort of like move this a little bit or explode it um, so that you get rid of that line in the middle. Um, or uh, you can just add a new piece in the middle. Uh, but this sort of visually gives you what you're looking for. Um, it even has like these two little lines in the middle that kind of look like they could be an uh, insulated piece of glass. So um, this is the way that I like to do it. Um, the other way is that you kind of have to like cut a hole um, and then it is problematic because you're making more geometry. So uh, this way you're doing a little bit less work. The only issue is that you just sort of have this like issue in the middle um, and that may or may not be what you're looking for. Um, but, uh, I think this is sort of like a good compromise. If you wanted to get rid of this line, you could always hide these. Uh, you'd still have an overlapping face here. So if I select these and I go to edit hide, that helps get rid of the faces if I hit hidden geometry off. So it looks a little bit smoother. Oh, I'm not inside, I guess. Let's go in here. I'm going to hit control X to delete this really quickly. Uh, so if I would just want to take these lines in here, let me just select them, go to edit, hide. Okay, so we hid those. And then I go to edit, paste in place so I can get my window pane back. You can see that looks smoother. You know, I know there's an overlapping face in there, but um, probably most people wouldn't know. So um, I think that's a really good um, option. And then, you know, when I go to put it on this door or put the door in, it's already done and the same sort of thing um, ah I was confused there because I didn't have my reference line with this because I have hidden geometry off um, which is good because I don't want to see those lines all the time so just having that hidden geometry moving it to where I want um, and like this one doesn't go far enough so maybe it's about putting something else in there. Maybe it's about extending the component. Um, but yeah, this hopefully this helps. Uh, I think this is the best way to do this uh, without having to make a cut because it just becomes problematic when you go to move things and uh, selecting this when you have everything else modeled uh, to move a window is is just like I said, problematic. So hopefully this helped. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And as always, happy hacking. All right, designers, just because this episode of Designer Hacks is over doesn't mean we're leaving you out in the cold. Tony's got tons of great content available at designerhacks.com. So join Design Nation right now, and we'll see you on the next episode of Designer Hacks.